We're on the same pay grade. The pay scale. What are G12? But it depends on how long you've been here. What yeah. are you, G12? What? I don't know. I'm you not, don't, we you have don't know own. what your pay scale is? Come on. Government pay scale is a government pay scale. I'm a G16, <laughs> which it's is above the White House, which is a 14. Isn't the White House 14, G14? I don't know. You don't know what the government pay scales are. You don't know what grid you're on. You're lying. Blair, your first lie you've told me that I'm aware of in how many decades have I known you? Is this two decades now? How long have I known you? What year did you start here? Oh, man. Have you been working for the post office more than 10 years in this location or area? Less, less than 10 years. But it's over the last two decades. I just want to ask for the record. You're not on camera. But have you seen UCLA PD or LAPD roll through here in the last 10, 15 minutes? No. Good. Because this is the location I told them to meet me because I was going to have a federal official witness the reports I gave them to see if they wanted to fuck up again. They didn't show. <laughs> I was in another hit and run today. Uh -oh. I went to cash a check. It's interesting on the days I cash checks, I get robbed or are mutilated a lot. Oh, but you know how they know I cash the checks? Because it goes into the US Treasury and it flags, hey, he cashed another check. Here's where he cashed it. And they can be there in minutes. And they were. I'm sitting on a bench, a bus bench. They plowed a goddamn trailer right into it and knocked me right off the fucking bench. You think somebody's trying to tell me to shut up? Or is it an accident I got hit twice in a week and three times in a month and eight times in seven months? I don't know. Is that all an accident, do you think? Is that even possible to have that many accidents? And I've been responsible for all of zero of them? Dude, I'm starting to get cranky. Yeah. Wouldn't you? This is, yeah. This is our pay scale. Yeah, but it doesn't say my GS. I'm on step A. Step A. Oh, you guys are doing six. See, it's way low, too. What is, what is the pay? Right, I we, can't we can, see it. I don't have my glasses on here. Right? We're, I don't know. See, pay grade 6. Yeah, okay, so I said you were and GS6 then, and you're yeah, on A. Yeah, so A. Okay, so what is 16? We don't even go up that high. <laughs> okay, what is 11 at the highest pay grade? Right now, it's 72. Okay, yeah, I'm at 16. Yeah. Like you put I in government pay grades, but um, you know what prison sucks? and program... Yeah. This red circle, yeah. you can't even go no more, but that used to be top pay. You, you can't know? even go into the red circle anymore? No. <laughs> oh, because you know what the red circle you know, is. I guess they, you know, they, but they've been dropping. But you know what the red circle is. That's when you're also classified and above a certain level. Are you, do you have any classification? No. So you're not TS or nothing? No. You might ask for that. You could get it. I want to, I don't want to move up yet. <laughs> I well, did you consider my offer that I made you several weeks ago that you went, oh, fuck. But you know... Did you consider my offer? Is it yes or no? Yes. You didn't even think about it. And your answer is? Not a fucking chance in hell, or I don't know, or don't I'm know. still talking to my wife about it. I already know what she would say. <laughs> Do it or run like oh, hell? No, run like hell, Larry! Hold it. What's been happening? She, she, what she doesn't... She don't like... She don't like the way government's run. Nor do I! But... We have she, something in common. But the only thing she's okay, she understands is that the, as for now, I can't get laid off. You wouldn't get laid off with this either. Right. How would you get laid but off? But you know what I mean? It's you like, because I tell her, okay, you get paid way more than I do, but how many jobs have you had since I had this job? <laughs> Good point. So but what if you kept the day job and helped me with the other shit, and if it goes through, then yeah. you get a shot through the window. Yeah. Would you go for that? Would it yeah, help if we sat down and had coffee with her and she had to meet me as a human and I tried to remain civil? <laughs> yeah, that would work. All right, when do you want to set it up? Over the weekend? I don't know. It's a birthday weekend, I'll do it. You can say, hey, an old friend's having a birthday, he wants to have coffee, let's go meet him. You can bring the kids, come down to Venice Beach, Santa Monica, Malibu, pick the location. <laughs> Buy a beach, a there's less intel there for us. Come on, Larry, it's my birthday weekend. I just turned 60 today. Give me one present. Today? You did. You, yeah, today, well, May 31st. Thank you. Hey, 60. You're the first person in person who's wished me happy birthday. Yeah, do I look like 60? No. I feel like 600,000.
Well, yeah. What the, what the shit I'm going to? through? Yeah. <laughs> Have you watched any of the videos I've sent you links to, or are you afraid to? I'm afraid to. Go incognito on Google, and then they can't track it. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you how to be. Hey, you're not an Apple on your at home, are you? Yeah. You're not using Apple. Or I use, have all Apple. All right, but you could go to a public library or go Google incognito. That'll block you. You're like on the black web, then they can't see your IP. If yeah. you're going to do it, do it on Google incognito. Do you know how to go to incognito? It's under up where you click for settings and stuff on the right top corner, and there's a section yeah. called incognito. It'll bring up a browser that's not traceable. Specifically designed it specifically for that reason. So you can go self intel, and most people don't realize what it does. Or go on the black web. No, you don't want to go on the black web and internet. I've heard stories about that. But like, make you sure know what you're doing. make sure you're signed out of your internet accounts when you go incognito. You don't want to leave any threads open to the internet or email. Just sign up, and then. Or we can do it on my phone. You want to do it right now on my phone? <laughs> and then you're not searching it on your phone. Or do you want to watch them off my phone? Or do you want me to send the videos on a Dropbox? Dude, if you watch some of these videos, you'll see that I'm not exaggerating about anything I've ever told you, including calls with the FBI, the White House, Homeland Security, or anybody else. If you were just on your phone right now, just out of curiosity, put in Kurt Kelly, comma, FBI. See what comes up. That's just a search. You can't do it? You want me to do it on my phone? Are you afraid? Are you afraid, Larry, of your government, the people you work for? Would they hurt Larry? You're a government employee. Why would they fuck with you? <laughs> because they fuck with everybody. You know what intelligence sounds for in government yeah, intel? Yeah, yeah. Oh, gee, how quick did that come? Oh, put it in White House. Put it in comma White House. Or CIA, or I'll give you another one to blow you away. But try White House. How many calls came up with Kirk Kelly and White House? Huh? It's for Twitter. Oh, but it leads you to links, and there's who's also. John, who's John Kelly? Ah, uh huh. Or we're putting in Kirk Kelly, comma White House, or Kirk Kelly, comma CIA, or T S S P I I, Diplomatic Security Services, Protective uh, Intelligence. 2016. Oh yeah, dude. There's Breaking the rules. Yeah, here's a bad. She <laughs> shocking. How about this one, Kirk Kelly? Intel breach, 2014. Global Intel breach, 2014. See, I don't make this shit up. It's actually in public record. Intel means plausible deniability. Keep them thinking it's everyone but us. That's what Intel is. Huh? Which one did you pull up? The uh, the Russian hat? International Intel Security breach. Oh. Ah, and you need to spec how far? And it talks about a hack of worldwide intel. How hard is it to hack an election if you have everybody's fucking intel? And Obama told me to shut the fuck up about it. Stand down. Look at picture. Yeah. Oh, put in Kirk <laughs> Kelly, comma, R-I-P, like rest in peace. Put in that one. I'm dead already, allegedly. Video's going back to Father's Day last year, was it? With me bloody in a train station. Oh my god, he's dead! I know a dead man. And I just see your old pictures. Yeah, but when you put it in Kirk Kelly, comma, RIP, what comes up? For rest in peace. R period, I period, P period. Yeah, you forgot a period. Three periods in a row. Oh my god, he had a period. Did you know that um, CB? IMDb. Oh yeah. One of America's most successful media. Da da da. Ta da da. I don't want to create an account. You don't have to. You could go in and look at it without an account. And if you get all filmography, you'll see I produce, I direct, I write, I host. I've done everything from Saturday Night Live, Today Show, Tonight Show, thousands and thousands of episodes of television and film. Oh, March thirty first, nineteen sixty nine. May 31st. May 31st. And it's the wrong date. Sheboygan? They put that in because they refused to put in my correct date because the first public record they found was in 69. Well, that's when I changed my name to Kurt Kelly. As you know, I get mail under Joseph Cronin, Kurt Kelly, Edward James, and other identities that come to that box. 
I, according to DOJ seizures, I have 150 IDs I can legally use. Intensely involved in all aspects of multimedia entertainment. Oh, and yeah. Technology. Yeah. Technology. Put in Kirk Kelly, comma, NASA, I'll see what comes up. Or JPL. Or Mars Pathfinder. Yeah, I was involved in all of those. I was the reason people got to watch that on fucking dial up. It was my technology that was told by the U.S. government because they didn't want me to be worth $4 trillion in 18 months back in 2000. Do you know how much that would be worth today? Enough to squash Trump. You know who they, <laughs> huh, and anybody near him. Do you know how much um, George Washington was worth? $600 million as the first president of the United States. How much would that be worth today? He was the third richest president of all time. Wow. If you Google... 30 richest presidents of all time, it'll blow you away. A lot of the early forefathers had hundreds of millions. Thomas Jefferson's in the top five with like 500 million. What? But see, democracy was a great idea. They sold you on. It was never intended to work. It was a bunch of white rich guys who had a bunch of slaves and property who figured out how to get you all to buy into this whole employment work concept and justice for all of us. Did you know that justice in the United States really means the public pretender gets their funds from the DA and they tell them what they can use on a case to defend you or not? They control your defense funds? And if you work in government, you have to have government employees or law enforcement employees who are current or former to sit on your jury. No other people can sit on your jury. No wonder they're never indicted. If that's the case, I need people who are into drugs, sex, rock and roll, and fuck anybody who's left or right. That would be a jury of my peers. Yeah. And I'd never be indicted on jack or shit. Right. And I would, if I had a public pretender that had resources like anybody else, I'd never have a case ever in my file. I have cases in my file because one time I got arrested. You know that I was 5'9 and I had brown eyes and black hair? <laughs> when have I ever been 5'9 with brown eyes and black hair? Yet the police still arrest me. I'm like, look at the warrant. Like you're Asian, it doesn't you're matter. Asian. It has your name on it. You're Asian. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I might as well have been fucking Mexican. Which I may be part Hispanic because my family has fucked everybody through the generation. Do you know this is an oil burner, which was used originally for burning cannabis and incense. It's now considered a pookie pipe by cops for burning methane. Yet CBD for pain relief, which is a form of cannabis, comes in white crystal just like crystal meth and I've been arrested for having CBD in the pipe on charges of meth it's in my file I've been residential burglary of my own home during a fucking divorce on felony charges which were supposed to be expunged I paid an attorney $6,000 went to court to have it expunged yet they still brought it up on me as recently as a week ago in Santa Monica and used it as a reason to seize property from me oh you're a convicted felon you can't have any weapons it's not a weapon, it's a defense tool. It doesn't matter, you're not allowed to have anything to defend yourself because you're a convicted felon. Oh, really? Well, guess what? I'm going to go buy another one. You take that one, I may use it on you as you're trying to take it, bitch. I'm done being fucked with by government who wants to cover up the goddamn truth. I think it's time we get truth in government. If we ran on a platform of honesty, truth, and integrity in government, and if you make the laws, you break the laws, you go to jail like anybody else, do you realize how much we just leveled the playing field? The rich boys don't get to win all the time anymore. Right. You fuck off, you actually get to go to jail for it just like any other dickhead because you get a public pretender. What if everybody had to use public pretenders and had to kick into the fund based on availability of funds? And they couldn't have a private defender anymore. And if a attorney fucks you off, they get to go to jail just like anybody else, like the one who fucked me off where it cost me a $10 million company because he forgot to mention to me he was admonished for one of the biggest insurance frauds in history and then filed my insurance claim for $50 million work stoppage interruption. Hartford said, oh, it's another fraud and forced me into bankruptcy. On a $10 billion company, I owned 100% that I was only taking 20% public that made Microsoft and the U.S. government pissed off because by calculations, by independent surveys, with the technology I developed, I would have had 3 to 5% of all Internet transactions into infinity because I developed the SSL encryption technology with the Treasury, with 
the State Department, with FDIC, with the FBI and DOJ up my ass as I developed it and it worked and they use it today and I haven't had one fucking nickel off that technology. I also invented audio video streaming. I was one of the first 10 companies to pioneer it on the internet on dial-up. I'm no dumb motherfucker. I may look old and stupid, but I'm not. I'm fucking deadly dangerous when you piss me. Oh, here's a good one, boy. Put in Kirk Kelly, comma, the real Jason Bourne. Remember the movies Jason Bourne, B-O-U-R-N-E? Put in Kirk Kelly, comma, the real Jason Bourne. And then there's one last one. You can show these to your wife, and when she starts to look at them, she'll realize this is an honest guy who's calling shit out, and maybe we should give him a shot. Why not? All the other Kennedys took a shot. I'm willing to die for this. That's how committed I am to get the truth up. I don't give a fuck anymore. Oh, does it bring up a CIA project that started in 1953? And I was born in 59. And they went to married and unwed mothers to have a certain breed of child that they helped procreate. Ow. Well, how about this one? Kurt Kelly, comma, hashtag, one word, are you even with me? Kurt Kelly, comma, hashtag, one word, the Phoenix, F-E-N-I-X, not P-O-H-E, fuck that shit. The Phoenix, F-E-N-I-X. Oh, it'll bring up, what, at least 100,000 references? If you use Google and have desktop settings on, it'll tell you how many references there are to everything I've had you search. I helped invent the technology, I know how it works. How many references came up? Under the Phoenix? Wow, look at all the shit that came, but go to, are you on Google? Yeah. I go to, on the top right corner, go to desktop references. There should be a, or oh, I left on Apple, sorry. You see uh, desktop, scroll down, desktop, take me to desktop site. Or do you not get that on Apple? What do you get as choices? Settings, what else? There should be a whole menu that drops down. Settings, history. You don't get that on Apple? No, like... What? So oh, you guys are truly fucked up. What? Oh my God, they set it up so you can't even win. Is that a, that's a Google, are you in Google search or are you in Google Chrome? You have to be in Google, oh no, Google Chrome. You have Google Chrome? Because I'm in Safari. Yeah, go in Google Chrome. Yeah, that one. Now try Kurt Kelly. Comma, hashtag, the Phoenix, F-E-N-I-X. Oh, look, I come up with Heather's movie. Did you know I was supposed to be in that movie and ABC pulled me out of it? That, that was a cool movie. Yeah, I was Phoenix supposed to different. be, but I wasn't going to be gay either. But I became gay when I pulled out of the movie. Mm. Those fucking assholes. <laughs> it was a slap in the nuts. <laughs> yeah, I became a gay guy. <laughs> yeah. oh, and that's how I got brown eyes. Somebody pulled that off the internet and said, oh yeah, he has brown eyes. No, I don't, you cunts. But when you pull that up, how many references come up in the top, right at the top? Uh, you're on desktop. Okay. Uh, you still don't get this? Go under settings here. What fan? the fuck? Oh my God. See, this is why these private results. Oh, uh, here, hang on, let me turn on. Those are explicit. <laughs> what the fuck? You guys get fucked up Apple more than I realize. I mean, I don't use Apple for this reason. Do you have incognito in it? I do. Do you have anything on Google Chrome that lets you go incognito? Oh, yeah. Then you are totally wide open like the fucking virgin's butt. I'm not even joking. Any seventh grader can hack you. You know who turned over the code when... Uh, Apple refused to turn on the code on the San Bernardino terrorist attacks at the school. A seventh grader walked into the FBI and handed them the code to unlock any Apple. If a seventh grader can unlock your phone and oh. turn it over to the FBI. Ah, try it. Ah, what does it say? You've got an incognito and now they can't see you. Nothing. See, I'll tell you something new about your Apple you didn't know, but I'm going to show you something even better about Android that's going to maybe make you switch. It's not the same. It's not the same. What the fuck? What? 
I have to go down. See, here. type in um, a desktop. Yeah, you, something that says desktop. In the desktop settings. Content settings. Try content settings. I have used an account for you. Try that one. Uh, translate apps. Pop lockups now. Uh, help. Try help. Is there help? Can you want to tab that? Type in. Uh, is there help? Um, you don't even need help with Apple. <laughs> All right, so let me show you the difference. Um, I only have like privacy. Google Chrome. You see, I'm in Google Chrome. And we'll type that. We'll uh, we'll use it until we use this one. Uh, now look at here. New tab, incognito, bookmarks, recent tabs, history, download, share. Find and page, add to home screen desktop. You see that? I don't pull it up here and see it. So look at all the choices I get that you don't get. The desktop, settings, I'll pull back, add to home screen. Okay, so I'm in, I'm in uh, desktop. Look at just on this one where I searched this one. Yeah, request desktop. Yeah, look at it. Just starting to load the Intel breaches. So now I'm here. And I'll go in and open the page. Save, so you yes. But look at under curriculum global intel breaches rushing that. There's only almost 600,000 references. Damn. <laughs> Duh. You can show your wife that kind of data, like, hopefully, and you know, but I'm curious how you and Miss Solo and Miss Sippy spent $40 million a week on rushing that kind of information. How do you miss that? How do you miss 600,000? Like, the Well, this one is. But just type in the things. It'll probably be one the things. Uh, I think I left that up and just got in the editing and it seems like it's a little bit of a hashtag. The F E N is not one word, one word. It's a hashtag you don't want to hashtag. 592. <laughs> How do you get so many and I only get 592? Maybe it's an Apple thing. Well, you know, I searched something different. This was, oh, know, and uh, this was, let me open it up again. What was the address? Oh, open this. Kurt Kelly, and no comma, Kurt Kelly Global Intel Breaches, comma. Just for one minute. Kurt Kelly. Kurt Kelly Global Intel Breaches. No comma? No comma. No comma. Global Intel Breaches, comma. Comma. Russian hand. Space? Comma space Russian hand. And I got 599. Let's see if you get the same on Apple. And yeah. Yeah. You get all right. You have to know how to search it precisely. If you're not getting the results you're looking for, modify what you're asking for or the comments. Or quotes. Like if you want everything is just Kurt Kelly, not Kurt or Kelly. Kurt Kelly and quotes. Yeah. But I mean just on that alone, six hundred thousand results. How many of you miss that if you're looking for shit about Russian Mac? Where I called it out and put up all kinds of shit, including the exact proof of the Russian hack on Intel breach. How did they miss that? I wonder.